Hey everyone, it's Denise, and I'm going to finally do a very, very heavily requested video on how I store my handbags. And so I'm just going to get right to it. Um, this is the door to my closet, and you see I have very special artwork. I rock. And then my daughter, or actually my son made this. It says Mom's Closet, and he decorated it. And my daughter made that. Mommy rocks. <laughs> So let me open the door and let you guys first get a peek. And you can spot the LV right away, I'm sure. But that's my walk-in closet, so it's just mine. But right here is where is my this is my main LV storage. So I have some shelving. This is my knickknack shelf, I suppose. <laughs> All my babies. Very happy mommy. Pr proud mommy. So this, let me just show you. Now, I let me just pan down and I'll kind of go through what each shelf has. The bottom shelf down there is really just some photo albums and things like that. But my first shelf here, I know where everything is. So these are my two artsies. And this is my Damia Ebene Speedy. Uh, if you remember from my collection video, I have a monogram and an on-print artsy. I store those stuffed and upright. And same with my speedies. I have this Damia Ebene, and then this shelf here, I stuff my monogram speedy. Right here, I have my Evora, and that is also stuffed. Here is my Mahina, and it's kind of a, for lack of a better term, a floppy handbag. So it's just flat, and the base is right here. It, I just have it laid nice and flat. And right here, they fit perfectly. I have my Damier Azure Eva, and my new um, Sunset Boulevard right there. And then my last shelf, this is my Hampstead MM. That is my very first LV that I have, so it's on the top shelf. And it's a stiff bag. The base is right here. So it's, I just have it laid and I have the handles folded over nicely. Right here, um, I decided to give it a break. This is my, my little iCat um, cosmetic case. I'm giving that a break. So it's sitting right here, fits nicely there. And let me just move it right here in the same pouch because it's kind of large. I have my Pouchette and my Sistina wallet. Both of those are Damia and Mean, so I have those together in that dust bag. Right here, I have my Damia Graffite organizer, and I am currently using this one, so that's why it's empty. It's This is the dust bag for my monogram, Sarah. And here, I have two rows. One large bag, he, uh, one large box here, excuse me. That is my husband's um, Damier Ebene passport holder. I also have his Damier Ebene wallet, my tapage charm, and the box for my um, my Bernie Clay. And then I have my two bag charms here, my um, tapage charm here, and my, um, oh, what do you call it? I'm losing my Rayuris. Bernie, the Amarant Rayuris charm right there. And so that's really the bulk. I mean, it was very fortunate I did not put these shelves in. They were here when we bought the house. And then I do, I'm so guilty of keeping all my boxes, but I do make use of them. I do have other things inside of them. I have a bag that was filled with all my receipts and things like that. So it's there. Oh, my son plays football. And um, here's a couple of my other handbags right there. And then these are three other handbags that I have. Um, I got a monogram Noe right there. And I did buy that pre-loved from a private seller. She did not have a dust bag to go with it. That was LV, but she gave me this really cute pink one, which I don't mind at all. And this is my uh, Damia Azor Figari. GM and you can see I store that upright because I do not bend those handles. That's kind of a difficult bag to store. If I did not have this wide tall shelf available, I would store it laying horizontally. And then right here is Queen Bee. This is my Amarant Bernie Alma. So that's Queen Bee and she gets top spot right there. 
So those are my other bags. And then I have, you see, that's a coach bag there in the corner. Dooney and Burke bag and a couple of coach. And then on the very bottom there, you can see, yes, I have dirty clothes. I'm normal. I have dirty clothes too. <laughs> it is my closet. But right here, that is my coach tote storage. So I have all my coach and some other Dooney and Burke handbags in there. And I will do a collection video on those. I know you guys have been heavily requesting that as well. Uh, I will definitely do that. But as you can see, that's kind of all buried in the bottom of my closet. And so it's a lot for me to dig it out. So I will dig that out. And of course, there's my shoes. <laughs> but that's how, I, that's how I store them, guys. I mean, nothing fancy. Um, I've seen someone uh, on the purse form, I think, she bought a glass case, kind of a china cabinet type of thing from Ikea, and she just stored her bags in that so she could see it. But, I mean, my closet's really, it's not designed for that. So I make use of the space that I have. And I guess I am a hoarder when it comes to these boxes, and eventually I'll have to start getting rid of them. But for now, I've got space, and I, I like them up there. I like looking at them, so... Maybe I'm weird, um, but I've got that shelf there, and let me pan slowly, and right here, these shelves, and everything fits quite nicely so far, and I got a new bag today, I'll be filming a video on that very shortly, and I think when that, and it kind of works out, um, you see I don't have much space remaining, but when I'm ready to switch bags, and I guess I should say, the bag that I'm currently using sits on a table I have in my entryway. Um, I set that and my keys down right there when I come in the door, so that's where the current bag I'm using sits, nowhere in my closet. Um, the only time I bring a bag up in here is when I'm going to switch it. So the bag that I'm currently using is the new pre-loved bag I just received, and I'll do a video on that, like I said, later. <clears throat> excuse me but when everything is in here I find that when one comes out one goes back in so whatever whenever I'm ready to switch out of the current bag I'm using I take out the bag that I want to use and then the other bag can fit somewhere in here because I don't want to scrunch and squish my bags because I don't want them to get misshapen and damaged in any kind of way um, and sometimes I have these, um, all of this organization was here when we purchased the house. So I do have some hooks here and I will, I don't like to do it, but if I know I'm going to use that bag, I will hang it on those hooks that are right there. Um, I don't leave them like that for long. And I also have a shelf here, have some shelf space there. And I will also set the bag out in there if I'm planning on switching out of it or I just don't, haven't had a chance to put it away yet but I do not leave it out very long. Oh, and I'll let you guys just have a little peek. This is my little, the, these are the items that I took out of my iCat cosmetic case, but this is my little, my little shelf with my little sweet babies I like to look at. And I, I'm a, you guys know me, I'm mommy, DLS mommy. I have pictures of my babies all in my closet. Impromptu closet tour, I guess. <laughs> my baby's there, and those are some little ceramics they made me and decorated but yes yeah, so that's pretty much it guys I hope this was helpful maybe gave you some ideas or ways to utilize you know storage space but that's what I've got right there any questions please don't hesitate to comment below um, any video requests you guys can follow me on Instagram uh, DLS mommy and as always guys I thank you for watching and I hope you have a fabulous day thanks guys bye